I want to share with you today a little in-season circuit for hockey goalies. Uh, this is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com and UltimateGoalieTraining.com. I'm going to take you through a little circuit that um, you can do at home at the gym with minimal equipment. Um, it'll only take you about 20 or 25 minutes to get through it four times. This is what it looks like. I posted a video a little while ago about functional isometrics. This is another form of functional isometrics. But what we're going to do is hold our squat position. And while I do that, I'm squeezing my quads, squeezing my glutes, bracing with my abdominals. I'm going to hold that for five seconds. Then I'm going to do shuffle steps to my right. One, two, three. And then back into my squat position. And hold for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Back down. So I'm staying low the whole time. I'm holding an exaggerated ready position, but then I'm doing quick lateral movements. We're going to do a push-up position get-go. So holding a push-up position is a core plank. uses the muscles in the front of our hip, our abdominals, and our shoulders to stabilize us. But then doing the get-go requires good mobility at the hip. And as I do this maneuver, I don't want my hips rolling or my torso extending or rounding, I want to stay stable as I do that. So in order to achieve it, I need to have um, pretty good um, awareness of how to use my hip joint without involving my low back. If you have really good hip mobility, you'll be able to do it from your plank position on your own. Then we'll go to another core exercise, side plank, but for you guys, I'm going to have you split your feet so one foot's in front of the other. It makes you a little more balanced front to back, but it also lets you put a little more force into the ground with your adductor group. So we'll hold that position. Then we're just going to do our max number of perfect push-ups. If you're getting more than 15, you need to put a little resistance band um, across your back and hold that to add a little bit more resistance. Let me show you what I mean. So this is just a bungee cord. You put that across your back, underneath your armpits, and that adds a little bit more resistance. But however many push-ups that you get, so say you get 12 push-ups with some resistance, then you're going to do that many knee pop-ups. Now we're going to work on lateral hops. This is going to be a rotational one. So there are two things we need to worry about. One is we need to worry about getting going, accelerating, but the other is we need to be able to decelerate quickly on the other side. So we're going to start here, load, push, and get a nice stop. And finally, to keep a nice balanced workout, we need to do a pulling exercise. So you can either do a nice dumbbell row, keeping your torso flat to the floor. If you don't have dumbbells or a bungee cord that you can use for the row, you can just lie on the floor with your elbows out to the side and push your elbows into the wall, uh, floor. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's not ideal because it's isometric, so it's limited to one range of motion. But it actually will build strength because you can contract your muscle with lots of force. Your body doesn't know if you have a weight attached to your hand or not. It just knows that the muscle is being asked to contract with a given amount of um, force or resistance. So that will work in a pinch. So try to do this two times a week. Focus on the technique. Um, on your explosive exercises, make sure they stay quick. And I hope that this helps. This is a little in-season circuit that you can do at home or at the gym with minimal equipment. Uh, I'm Maria from UltimateGoalieTraining.com and HockeyTrainingPro.com. See you soon. Let's go.